February the 5th, 2020. My daughter come round and we were sat for about 10 minutes or so and I thought, I need to go to the loo. I walked to go up the stairs and I got to the third step and I couldn't go no more. My right side just went. So she shouts to me, are you all right, you? I says, no, I can't get up. I can't. I can't. When I got to the third step and I can't get up no more, we were, we were laughing my head up. We are both laughing, laughing, laughing. And then she says to me, your speech doesn't sound right. So she phoned my partner and my partner says, phone 999. And then I can remember the ambulance coming. I can remember walking to the ambulance. And then I got to Bromley Town End with sirens going. And I'm thinking, that's for me, and it, isn't it? And I just start to I'm thinking, that's for me. And then I didn't remember nothing else. And then I went, when I woke up, all I could do was move my eyes. Oh, and I was so frightened. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't move my legs. I couldn't scream. I couldn't shout. It was just pure fear. And the nurse came over to me and says, don't worry. She says, you're going to be all right, Susan. You're going to be all right. Stop crying, stop crying, don't cry. And I couldn't understand why she was saying don't cry. Didn't she understand? I couldn't move. I couldn't say a word. I thought, is this me? This is really me, just lady here. Not being able to move, not being able to say a word. I can't live like this. I said I might as well be dead. All I did with them to shout was why. I could only say why. Why what's up with me? Why what's up with me? What's happened to me? And then the nurse comes and says, oh, you've had a stroke. But don't worry, you're going to be fine. You're going to be okay, you are. She says, just be strong. Just be strong. She says, instead of crying, put all your energy in getting well. And then I stop crying. I need to be able to wash myself and get up and go to the toilet. I need to start then talking to get out what I need to get out. And then when I started talking, I sounded like I come from Barnsley. But I couldn't understand why I was sounding different. I said, I can't help it. I said, it's just the way it comes out. I still think it is a loss. It's just, I think I've sort of like dealt with that bit of it. I've got to go up the next step of the ladder, try to do something else. You gotta do what you gotta do. You just gotta get on with you, and you. As I say, you'll have good days and you'll have bad days. And the bad days will start to weaken when they get more better days. But it doesn't help being locked in, as I suppose, and not being able to go out and do what I want. I've got to depend, that's what I've got to do. At the minute, I've got to depend on other people. And I don't want to be dependent on everybody. As my sister said to me, and that my mum says to me, if God didn't think I could handle it, he wouldn't have given me it. And sometimes I feel lonely. I feel shut in. It's nice to talk. That's what it is. You've got to talk. That's what I've learnt. Main thing. You've got to talk. And the more you talk, the easier it gets. And then you don't got the weight of it on your shoulders.